My friends, today we're going to talk about how to organize your decibel modules. Here I have a blank canvas. Most of the time you start from a preset, but here I have a blank canvas to demonstrate the organization. So when you hover your mouse over a blank canvas, you have a little plus, you click on it, you have a menu, and it tells you um, all the options that you have at this point. These options keep expanding, by the way. So for example, I love the super meter. I'm going to click super meter and I can place the supermeter wherever I want. One really cool key command is the shift key command when you create a new module. If you hit shift, it will fill the entire surface. That's pretty nice. You can always change the size of things like this. And by the way, now if I want to create something else, I click here and I want to do, I don't know, a histogram. I can shift click it and it will put the histogram into as much space as possible. And this goes for everything you do here. If you option right click, it deletes the module. Also, very cool, say I create a view meter here, about this size, and I make it like this. Most view meters come in pairs. You can option drive the view meter, and it will make a copy of the same size right here. And here you go. Once you've created a module, but you want to maximize it like you do when you create it, but it's already created, you can hit shift and hit the border of it, and it will maximize right after. That little blue thing tells you that it's about to maximize, which is practical. So you can really quickly build all your modules. Let's go back to a blank canvas. Let me show you interaction between the host and your iPad, your iPhone, your Android, whatever. This is important. So let's create a super meter and let's maximize it. All right, now here you have two little triangles. You have the general one, which is for what's going on on your screen, on your desktop, right? And then you have this one and that one basically shows you what your iOS device or Android device boundaries are. As you can see, as open, I'm leaving a little bit of blank space on my iPad right here. So I can click on it and I can shift click and it will maximize all the way down, right? And now on my iPad, it's maximized. So these two triangles here are different. This one right here is to unveil your device, your iOS or Android device. This one is just to size the window on your door on your desktop. If you hit shift when you move this, you constrain proportions. If you don't, you can squish stuff, which is kind of fun. And that's it for decibel shortcuts.